Hi there, my name's Alexander Shelley. I'm the guest conductor this week with the Milwaukee Symphony. It's my first time in this beautiful city and I'm so happy to be here uh, with a very special program, a program of very beautiful and interesting music. Uh, the first half is a couple of Germans inspired by Britain and the second half is a Brit inspired in a strange kind of way uh, by Germany. I'll explain as we go along. Uh, we start the program with Mendelssohn's uh, overture, Fingal's Cave, uh, the Hebrides Overture, which he wrote when he was only 20 years old. He was visiting Scotland. He was inspired by the Ossian literature and very excited to be there. Um, and he took a journey to see um, uh, the island Staffa. And uh, there he saw Fingal's cave and he was inspired both to, to draw a little sketch but also to write uh, some music which he, he put in a letter to his parents. Uh, and there you see the opening measures of this beautiful and very famous overture that we're going to be performing. Uh, it's a tone poem, it's a short descriptive piece of work, um, eight or nine minutes long and one of the most famous overtures in the canon. I'm sure that you will recognize it when we play it for you. Uh, after that, it's Brooks' fantasy on Scottish themes for violin and orchestra. It's basically a violin concerto inspired by beautiful Scottish melodies. So there's the link to Mendelssohn's Hebrides Overture. And that will be performed by Blake Puglio, who I've worked with before. He's a wonderful Canadian violinist who lives here in the States. And those of you that haven't heard him must come along because he's really a, a wonderful virtuoso and a beautiful musician. I can highly recommend him. And the piece itself uh, is really beguiling. It's in four movements um, and it's uplifting, it's light, uh, it has some beautiful melancholic uh, moments uh, in the calm central movement um, and it's a, a piece that'll uh, leave you humming the melodies as you go home. And then in the second half, Walton's first symphony uh, written when he was a young man and here we come to the, uh, to the, the German connection again. He was a Brit um, and when he wrote the symphony, the first three movements, he was deeply in love uh, with a German uh, widow. He'd been in a relationship with her, um, but as the symphony progressed, as he wrote it, uh, their relationship came to an end. And in fact, you can hear his anguish, his melancholy in the first three movements. They're almost brutal at times. They're, they're in fact quite difficult to access for both musicians and audience alike. But by the time he came to write the fourth movement, after having experienced a writer's block, he'd fallen in love uh, with another woman, a good English lass. Um, and in the fourth movement, you hear this bright, lively, open music. So in fact, this symphony is a form of personal journey uh, for the great composer, William Walton. It's a beautiful program. If you want to know more about it, uh, join me at seven o'clock uh, on Friday or Saturday night. Um, I'm going to be introducing that in a pre-concert talk. And at 8 p.m. on Friday and Saturday, we perform this lovely music for you. I look forward to seeing you there um, and all the very best. Thank you.